Hey superstars, I'm Sue and welcome to my channel, Reviews with Sue. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and supporting our channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sue and I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. So would you like to know what today's unboxing is all about? Well, let me show you. It is the Zen Pop box. And if you want to know what's inside this box, then just keep on watching. Doing reviews just like I do. Hanging out with your friend Sue. It's Sue. And I'm back at the Zen Pop box here for February 2023. If you're not familiar with the Zen Pop family, let me tell you a little bit about it because you know that's what I like to do here on the channel. I like to tell you about it and then I show you what I got. Well, the reason I call it a family is because Zen Pop has a whole bunch of monthly subscriptions. They have a snack box, a sweet box, a noodle box, a trinket box, a stationary box. But the box I have here today is brand new to my channel. They reached out to me and asked me, Sue, do you want to share this one and I'm like uh yes please this is going to be their Japanese snack box this box runs $39 per month with free shipping to the United States and some other countries as well in each of their boxes you are going to receive approximately 12 different Japanese snacks if you decide you want to sign up for three, six, or even 12 months, you can save a little bit of money there. Now, they since they did send me this over free for review so I could share it with all of you, they gave me a discount code I could pass on to you. It is Sue5, and that's going to give you $5 off your very first box. I'm going to leave a link down below as well as my discount code in the description box just in case you want to check it out for yourself or maybe you want to just like send it to one of your friends that loves to try different types of little snacks. So let's go ahead and get into our box right here. You can also also follow them over on Facebook as well as Instagram. You can see it does say Zen Pop JP because this comes from all the way from Japan. It does. So let me go ahead and open up the box. This is what she looks like right here. You can see it is jammed packed and it looks like Luna just took a little baby dive. She did. So right on the top there is a little bit of brochures, a little bit of information here. So first of all we have Luna which is their mascot. This is the little baby bunny right there. And then on the back it says greetings from Osaka because that is actually where this box is actually from. Okay, then we have here Zen Pop February 2023. Now it does have a little QR code right there you can see. So I did go ahead and scan that so it would tell me a little bit more about the products that's in the box but to be honest with you when I got on there I couldn't even pronounce half the words anyway so I didn't like print anything and I can't tell you a lot about them except for showing you the items and maybe we'll just taste a few as well. I do want to thank Zen Pop again for thinking of me sending this over. This is like so awesome. I do already show their stationary box and I absolutely love that one. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely do because they have some high-end Japanese like stationary products and it's the kind of stuff you don't see here in the States. But today, again, we're talking about snacks and I love me a good snack. I do. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first item is I don't know. So this is what it is right here. It looks like they are going to be like little baby cookies. Look, there's some cookies there on the back. Everything is probably going to be in Japanese, so I'm not going to be able to read it to you. But you can see there is a lion on there. And let's just go ahead and we're going to just like open a few snacks up. We're going to have a couple little snacks and we are going to see how they taste. So this actually looks like little vanilla wafer. That's what it looks like to me. That's what she looks like. Now, does it taste like a vanilla wafer? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so it's really good. And I could eat this whole bag like immediately because they're that good. It tastes like a vanilla wafer, but it's a more airier vanilla wafer. So that was snack number one. Okay, snack number two. What are you? I don't know, but I'm seeing something that looks like, I don't even know what I see. <laughs> so this is the next package right here. Oh, it says Texas corn. That's what it says here. So look. On the back, it says Texas corn. It was something in English, and it's going to be like some little puff balls like right there. So I'm going to put this one to the side for right now because there's a lot of stuff to get through. The next item I have is this item right here. I don't see anything on the back that says English, but this is like a full-size blown of some type of a wafer chip. You can see right there, it looks like some kind of a wafer. Almost looks like a... Um, what do they call those? Um, like a rice cake. So let me go ahead and cut into this one and just kind of like see what these look like. Now I'm assuming there's probably more than one serving size in here only because um, it's like a really big bag. Now it smells fishy. It honestly does. And I'm not a big fan of fish, but let's just try it and see what it tastes like. So these are going to be very airy and very light. You can see right here, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna break off just a little piece. I'm not allergic to, or anything, but I don't um, 
really care for seafood. I don't like fish. I do like shrimp and I do like crab legs, like Alaskan king crab legs, like the really good ones. So I'm gonna taste just a little tiny piece. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. It kind of like melted in my mouth, but it did have a little bit of crunch. I don't think I taste any fish in there. I don't think so. I guess maybe at first whiff of it, it just kind of smells like, like tuna fish or something. And I like tuna fish as well, but it was different, but it was actually quite tasty. So we're going to move on. The next thing we have here, it looks like we have like maybe some ramen, ramen noodles. So this is the package right there. <laughs> Look at that get up guy there. What's he got on? But these are the type where you're going to add, you know, some hot water to it. I usually put foil on top. I let it sit for like five minutes and then I gobble it up. Now, I just don't know if it's going to be spicy or not. And I'm not going to make it right this second, but um, I shall definitely give it a try. So I can hear noodles in there and they do actually have a noodle box as well. So what else do we have here? This one, I keep looking at it like I'm going to be able to read something, but I can't. So there is that one right there. This one actually kind of looks like, I don't know. Let's open it up and see. <laughs> I'm going to have all these snacks open. Hopefully I don't eat them all in one sitting. So in here we have, what's in this one? Ooh, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh my. Okay, so this is kind of like a big thing. So this looks like a big puff of something. And then it looks like it's like rolled into something maybe. Hmm. All right, let me just break off a tiny little piece. I'm always scared that I'm going to get something like spicy when I don't know what I'm trying. So here is a little piece here. Actually, let me break it again just a little bit because I don't want to eat too much here in front of you. and make you all jealous. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that was really tasty. That was, it tastes kind of buttery. It was crunchy. It was kind of sweet. I think that this, this coating on the outside is kind of like sweet. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. But it's, again, like very eerie, airy, airy is the word I'm trying to think of. Hmm. That was actually really good. This here feels like these are going to be like something like fruity, like um, like fruit snacks. Because I can feel them and they're kind of like squishing in there. So we have that. Then the next thing we have here says Super Mario. And it looks like it's like little coffee beans, but maybe they're like little raisins or some type of a chocolate that is covered by something. So there's that guy. Okay, that man, this is jammed packed. Ooh, these are so good. I have to save these for later. But these, this, I can read that one because it says Pocky right there. These are Pocky sticks. So usually it's like some type of a stick and it might be like kind of like a pretzel or, or, or like a breadstick almost. And then usually they dip it into chocolate or some type of a chocolate. And they're really good. So they're just long. They're thin. They're not like a heavy kind of a um, sweet, but it's really good. And they actually included two of two of those. And then, oh, what are these? It's like just a little baby thing here. It looks like that might be like maybe a little piece of chocolate. <laughs> and I like me chocolate. So we have that. And then it looks like we have another one of those there. What else is in here? Oh, this is something really big. So this item here says new, but I don't know what the new is. But this is what it is right here. Hmm. Does it say anything? Nothing. Man, I got nothing here. Nothing here in English. Here's the back of it if you wanted to see the back of it. But let's let's cut into this one because it's like really big. I mean, like, look, this is my head and this is how big it is. So I got a big head. So this is probably a big stick. So here we have, well, we're going to cut off the top. And, oh, wow, what is this? Whoa. So it's, I think there might be like a few pieces or maybe it broke, but it's like really, really large. So let me just like take a little baby nibble off the end of it here. Oh, oh, it's crunchy. Oh. Mmm. 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 Very tasty. Again, very airy, very light, chocolatey on the inside. I don't know if you could see the inside of it there. It's kind of like, hmm. Kind of like a Butterfinger in a way, but not the flavor of a Butterfinger. But you know how it has like those little crunchy crispies kind of like inside it? Yeah, that was good. I do like that one. The next one I have here looks like they are going to be something that's a pineapple. Yes, I love pineapple. And it almost looks like lifesavers in there, but they're probably going to be gummy lifesavers. And then you see the pineapple. So I'm assuming that this is going to be in a flavor of pineapple. Oh, what are you, little fella? So then we have this little guy right here. So I'm thinking that's going to be a little piece of chocolate. Then we have another little tiny piece of something here. We have this little guy right there, a little cat going. I know I can be so silly, you guys. When it comes to food, I get really excited. 
This guy right here is this. I don't know what that is either. And it's like a bride and a groom. So maybe it's some type of rice. Maybe they're throwing rice, right? So I'll save that one for later too. Oh, this is adorable. Is this a little hedgehog? What is that exactly? Oh, wait, it's got little things on there. Oh, maybe it's a bat. But look at this little container. Isn't that cute? Look at it. And then look at the face. <laughs> All right, so let me see. How do you get into this one? I'm not really sure. There's something inside. I'm, you know, I'm going to keep it sealed for right now because it's just too adorable to open up right now. Then the next thing I have is, ooh, what is that? Oh, oh, there's a stick. Okay, so here's the next one right here. I keep looking at it like I'm going to figure it out, but I'm just kind of like looking at the pictures. Now inside here, I can feel like a stick in here. So I'm thinking it's a stick and then there's like loose powder or candy in the bottom. So did you ever get those lick sticks or whatever they called it? It was like a little stick and then you'd lick it and then you'd dip it into the, the different colored powders and then you'd swish it around and then you eat it. It was kind of like, tasted like kind of like Kool-Aid, like like the material of it or the, 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 the material of it. I, I can't even explain it. But you know what I'm trying to say probably, if you're old like I am, then you probably know what those are. But I'm thinking that's what this is gonna be. So it's some kind of a stick that you're gonna dip in and then you are going to pull out a powder of some flavoring out of there and then you're gonna lick it off the stick. So that's my guess. Okay, the next thing here is quite interesting. Oh, okay, this has an octopus on it. So this might be something that might be a little bit, um, hmm, I don't know, because what I'm seeing looks actually really delicious. So you can see this is the item right there. And it's, I can feel it, it's like, is there more than one in there? Okay, let's open this one up too. I'm gonna have all these snacks open. What am I gonna do? I'm probably gonna eat them all and that's not gonna be good for me. Ooh, there's like a bunch of things in there. So wait, wait, is there more than one? Ooh, okay, so it has a strong scent to it. There's one of these like little packets in here, but this is the item right here. Oh, it's very interesting looking. Let me, oh, it's sticky. It's like a sticky kind of a thing. So this is what it looks like right here. It's very like, like doughy feeling almost. And it's very light. Hmm. It smells like, like, like a seasoning. I don't know. Let me just take off a little tiny little piece. Hmm. Oh, it tastes like teriyaki. It tastes like, like, like Chinese food. Mm -hmm. That's what it tasted like. Oh, that, that was pretty good actually. Okay. Then I have like a drink in here and it is sangria. Ooh, 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 I got me a bottle of sangria. So we have a bottle of sangria and it's like a full blown bottle. And I'm not gonna open it up right now. I'm not ready to do any, any you know, heavy drinking right now, but that's pretty cool. But I'm definitely gonna give it a try. I might have to add maybe a little coconut rum to it and make it a little more spicier. And then it looks like I'm down to my last item. Man, this was a lot of stuff in here. So the last item I have is this right here. Now it's all wrapped up in some cellophane and it looks like, there's gonna be two boxes. So let me see if I can um, cut into this so we can see more of what this item is gonna be. These are like really, it's really fun to try snacks from another country. Hmm, I like it, I like it a lot. So here we have one little box and then we have the second little box right here. So let me open up this one. Oh, there are little candies in there. Look, there, there's little individual little pieces of candy in there. I may have tried these before, let me feel it. No, maybe not. So let me go ahead and open one of these up just to see what's inside it. Cause it's like, it's like a secret in a little plastic little container here. Um, oh, oh, it wasn't what, what I, nope, I haven't tried these before. So this is what, oh, it's a little heart. Look, it's a heart. Ooh, it smells like butterscotch and it's actually quite hard. So I'm gonna save this one for later. So that's what was in here. And it's like a hard candy that smells like butterscotch. Okay, and then I have the other little half of that little package. And in here, we have, not sure, we have, oh, what is this? They look like little baby sugar cubes. cubes. And is this a, a, a rhino? I don't know, look, is that a rhino? But it looks like little sugar cubes in there. Huh, very interesting. Well, I'm gonna save that for my little mystery snack later. So let me do a quick little recap. I know it won't be quick, but I'll try to make it as quick as I possibly can. We have the sangria right here. Then we have this snack right here. I can't really call the, what there are because I don't know the real names of them. We have the little sugar cubes here. We have the um, little hedgehog right there or the bat or whatever that might be that has the little, little fangs in there. And then we have the 
candies that taste like butterscotch, or it's gonna, it smells like butterscotch, so I'm assuming that's what it's actually gonna taste like. Then this is the one with the little stick, and then it's gonna have that candy powder in the bottom of it. Then this guy here, this was really good. I think this was my favorite snack right here. Yeah, it smells really good. It actually even kind of like smells almost kind of like a Butterfinger. And then, oh, we got Pockies though. I do like me some Pocky. And then we have that one there. Then we have this one here. Now I'm thinking these are gonna be gummies and I think they're gonna be pineapple flavored. And then we have these right here, which are gonna be like maybe raisinets that are covered in chocolate. That's just my guess. Then we have the little gummies right here because I can feel them right through the package that they feel kind of gummy-like. Then we have these two little snacks. I'm telling you, this box was jammed packed. Then we have this little guy here. This little guy got away from me. Then we've got this guy right there. I wonder if that's Luna too right there. And then we have this snack right here. And then we have this one right here. And this one is going to look like that. That one I didn't try yet. And I didn't try my noodles yet. And then we have this whole bag here that it still smells fishy, but it did not taste fishy at all to me. And then the last snack I have is this one right here, which were like some little baby cookies in there. And those were really good. They were very light and melted in my mouth. And they kind of gave me the vibes of the vanilla wafers. So that was everything that came in the box. What did you guys think? What snack would you like to try? I know you can't name it, but name, if you could, how would you describe the snack that you would want to try? Or if you've ever tried any type of Japanese snacks before, let me know down below in the comment section. I do want to thank Zen Pop again so much for sending this over. I really do appreciate it. And this was really fun. And it was like new to the channel. And they did ask me, Sue, do you want to try another box this time around? And I said, sure. And they said, how about the snack box? And I said, okay. And I'm glad I did because they were really interesting snacks. I haven't tried them all yet, but I promise you I will. Now, if I have any giveaways going on, I'm going to leave that link down below in the description box, as well as a link to the website for Zen Pop, just in case you want to check out this subscription or maybe one of their other ones, because like I said, they have a whole bunch of them. My discount code is Sue5, and that's going to give you $5 off your first box. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe. I'd love for you to become part of my YouTube family here, and that's all I have for you today. So please be safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!